Hi, it's Katrina. From amazing infinity pools suspended in the air to one just above a gigantic waterfall, here are 11 pools you have to see before you die. Number 11. Infinity Pool at Marina Bay Sands Imagine taking a relaxing rooftop swim surrounded by one of the most breathtaking city's skyline views. The Infinity Pool at Marina Bay Sands in Singapore is all about luxury, and it's the world's longest suspended swimming pool. At nine times the length of an Olympic swimming pool, it's also the world's largest infinity pool, which means plenty of room for you and everyone else, and you don't have to feel squished. At 57 stories, you'll feel like you're away from the city, but still somehow immersed in the excitement of it. The view is so spectacular, it's supposedly the best photo-taking spot in all of Singapore. I've never been there, so I can't say for myself. When you're done swimming, you can dry off with a complimentary towel, then kick back in a lounge chair and catch some shade underneath a palm tree while enjoying one of the hotel's poolside refreshments. There's also a jacuzzi, of course, with an ocean view. So how do you gain access to this posh pool? You'll have to book a room. As you'll learn about several other pools on this list, it's only open to registered hotel guests for everyone's safety. Number 10, Ubud Hanging Gardens. If city skylines aren't exactly your thing and you'd rather have a beautiful view of nature, the pool at the Ubud Hanging Gardens in Bali might be more up your alley. Like the pool at Marina Bay Sands, it's what's known as an infinity pool, which gives the illusion that the water is spilling out of the pool and onto whatever lies below. The private resort is located in the heart of the jungle and hosts a multi-level luxurious swimming pool that makes you feel like you're floating among the trees. While you soak in the two-story pool, you're surrounded by mountains, volcanoes, and lush greenery. For those moments when you're looking for a bit of extra privacy, fear not. Each of the resort's rooms provides access to its own private pool. Nice. Number 9. The Cambrian Since we're on the topic of swimming among some of the world's most beautiful scenery, let me ask you this. How would you like to experience the Swiss Alps from the cozy waters of an outdoor thermal pool? The Cambrian, a hotel located in the valley of a Swiss alpine village known as Adelboden, claims to look out upon one of the world's most spectacular landscapes. Once you get a glimpse of the view, you'll probably agree that these claims aren't without merit. The pool at the Cambrian was even named in TripAdvisor's 10 Amazing Hotel Pools list. If you ask me, its prestigious ranking requires less explaining than actual first-hand experience. Must see in person. If you're interested in swimming here, it's advised that you book several months in advance and be prepared to pay $100 for your ticket to the pools. Switzerland is expensive. And now for number eight. But first, let us all know if you've ever been to any of these pools and if you have any others to recommend. If you're new here, be sure to subscribe and click on the bell to join the notification squad. Number eight, the Blue Lagoon. Iceland is known for its amazing natural waters and boasts one geothermal spa that, while not natural, is still impressive in its own right, and perhaps it's even worth the international trip. At any given time, the water in the Blue Lagoon's man-made lake averages 102 degrees Fahrenheit. The waters contain sulfur and silica, which are great for your skin. Even more amazingly, every 48 hours, the water in the spa is completely renewed. The best times to visit the Blue Lagoon are during the summer months to enjoy the midnight sun or during the winter to see the breathtaking northern lights. The Blue Lagoon, which was built in 1976, is a family-friendly facility. It's open to anyone over the age of 2 and children between the ages of 2 and 13 years old get in for free. You'll have to book your spot at this high-demand spa days or weeks in advance, however, so make sure you plan ahead. Number 7. Gold Energy Pool You'll bathe like royalty 12,000 feet above sea level at the Gold Energy Pool inside the St. Regis Lhasa Resort in Tibet. This pool is lined in gold leaf tile, giving the water a blingy hue and making the experience truly one of a kind. For maximum comfort, the heated saltwater pool is kept at a constant temperature between 78.8 to 82.4 degrees Fahrenheit. The Gold Energy Pool is meant for those who want to indulge in high-class relaxation. Running and diving are prohibited, so this might not be your best choice if you're planning on bringing the kids along, or if you just really like to do cannonballs. Poolside amenities include foot massages, cabana-style seating, and food and drinks, of course. Number 6. The Library Pool 
This pool, located in Koh Samui, Thailand, gets its unique crimson hue from orange, yellow, and blood red mosaic tiles. It's bright and beautiful on its own, but it's showcased even better by the blue ocean in the background, which stands out in stark contrast. The library pool is set against a backdrop featuring the Chaweng Beach in Koh Samui. If you're into supporting local businesses, the library hotel has the added bonus of being owned by Kasim Tham Sornsong, a Samui native. The minimalist, zen-like hotel has 46 suites and a library with a collection of over 1,400 books, hence the name. Be careful though, this place is pricey. Number 5. Marden Palace now, if you're a true swimming pool enthusiast, your life won't be complete until you visit the Mardan Palace in Antalya, Turkey. Built in 2008 by an Azerbaijani businessman, the top-notch resort has been called Europe's most expensive luxury resort. The Mardan Palace is a pool heaven, offering three children's pools, two indoor heated pools, and an impossible-to-miss main attraction, the biggest pool in the Mediterranean, which has also been named the best swimming pool in Europe. Although this is somewhat disputed since according to Europe, Turkey belongs to the Middle East, but according to the Middle East, Turkey is European. In any case, when you see this pool, you'll know why. Surrounded by channels and even boasting an overwater walkway known as the Da Vinci Bridge, the five-acre pool is nothing short of elaborate and elegant. It's so big, the hotel looks more like it's surrounded by a lake or a pond rather than a swimming pool. Number four. San Alfonso del Mar Seawater Pool The world's second largest pool is in Algarrobo, Chile, about 62 miles west of Santiago. The massive man-made lagoon is located at the private San Alfonso del Mar Resort. Completed in 2006 at the sky-high cost of $1.5 billion, the pool held the Guinness Book of World Records title for the world's largest pool until 2015. The pool is an astounding 3,323 feet long, covers about 20 acres, and contains 66 million gallons of filtered and treated Pacific seawater. It's more than 20 times larger than an Olympic-sized pool. Sadly, in 2013, a teenage boy died in the filtration system of the pool. Since then, it has been closed to swimmers and can only be used by people with small boats or proper scuba diving gear. If swimming in one of the world's biggest pools is on your bucket list, you may want to choose a different pool, or just head straight for the ocean. Number 3. Sea Gaia Ocean Dome If you're more interested in swimming in one of the world's largest indoor pools, head on over to the Sea Gaia Ocean Dome in Miyazaki, Japan. This massive swimming pool, which was originally opened in 1993, is 300 feet wide and nearly 1,000 feet long. At the Sea Gaia Ocean Dome, you'll notice an uncanny resemblance to a real Pacific Island beach, including simulated volcanoes and pristine sands. It also features the world's longest retractable roof, and on those less pleasant days when the roof must be closed, it's designed to simulate bright blue skies so that you can at least feel like you're outdoors on a tropical island. If you're interested in experiencing the Sea Gaia Ocean Dome, you're in luck. It was closed in 2007 as part of planned renovations of the Sheraton Sea Gaia Resort, but was reopened just two years ago in 2016, so we are good to go, people! Number 2. Nemo 33 At 115 feet deep, Belgium's Nemo 33 was the world's deepest swimming pool from 2004 until 2014. There is one major catch to accessing it, however. You can't go into Nemo 33 for a standard swim. It's mostly used for scuba diving lessons. But if you have a passion for taking your skills to the next level, this non-chlorinated indoor pool in Brussels is probably your dream training facility. It's open to tourists as long as you're over 13 years old and willing to undergo the proper safety protocols, which includes wearing scuba gear. If you're not a certified diver, you have the option of being supervised by a trainer. However, Nemo 33 is not the place you want to go for a free swim session. The water is consistently kept at around 86 degrees Fahrenheit and the pool contains simulated underwater caves for training purposes. Nemo 33 or a similar pool are about as close as you can get to diving in the real ocean. Number 1. The Devil's Pool This pool proves that there's a swimming pool for everyone, even the bravest adrenaline junkies. If you're the daredevil type, you'll want to skip all of the hotsy totsy hotel and resort pools I just told you about and go straight to the Devil's Pool, located in the Victoria Falls of Zambia and South Africa, the largest waterfalls in the world, and one of the seven natural wonders. 
The Devil's Pool is the world's largest natural infinity pool, allowing you to swim right up to the edge of a massive waterfall. To get to the Devil's Pool, you'll endure a rocky hike along with a swim down the strong currents of the Zambezi River. This experience is not for the easily frightened. The river's currents essentially push you right up to the edge of the Devil's Pool, with Rock, otherwise known as the Devil's Armchair, acting as the only barrier between you and the 100-meter drop below. You don't have to get too worked up, however. There are guides present to ensure that nobody goes over the falls. Hopefully. If you're going to visit Devil's Pool, you'll have to plan your trip around the dry months of the year. At all other times, venturing into these waters would ensure a most certain death. Word has it that the view from the Devil's Pool makes the trip to get to it totally worthwhile. Would you rather stay at a hotel or a resort, or experience the more adventurous swimming pools that Mother Nature has to offer? Let me know in the comments below. After all that swimming pool talk, I'm in the mood for a vacation. I think I just might take one. Just kidding. I'll be back soon with your next exciting video. To be sure you don't miss it, be sure to subscribe. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.